Hello guys, this is Twist from NIP. I'm here doing my first pro tips uh, and today we're gonna look through CT overpass. So let's get in. So as an A player, as myself, uh, it's important to know the Molotovs, uh, teasters and balloons or playground rather. So I'm gonna start teaching you those Molotovs. So wherever you spawn, you want the Molot to be as fast as possible in the teasters. So I suggest this one. Just run through here. As soon as you come here, around here, you will have the line in the middle of the square here. And as soon as you hit the bench right there, you will jump through it. So it will looks it will look like this. Running, running, running. And voila, perfect. And it's the same for the playground model as well. Just run here. As soon as you see the, these two like match together, you just run through these and jump through. Perfect model. And you release it when you're at the second second wall at the barrels. It takes some practice. Uh, usually we fail it away. <laughs> we fail it as well, like in pro, like pro series. Especially res. I'm I'm the utility king, so I never I never fail these Molotovs. But sometimes Frederick does and then he gets to hear that a lot from me. But anyway. And if you're like uncertain of the running Molotov, if you feel like it's too hard. There's another line where we just go right into this this corner, and you see this kind of like this I don't know what it's called like pillar kind of. Just run through there and mole. So it will go deeper, but the like bad part is they might be already like crossed here, so the mole won't do any damage. So that's a really good setup or two Molotovs I would suggest you and your A player learn. And if you're just pugging, just do either one of them. I would recommend this one. Okay, as the second thing I'm gonna go through is how to play the rotation position. So you usually play like two guys on A and you play two guys on B. And as the rotation, you want to help the other guys with the utility. So this is a perfect smoke for that, to help the B guys. You go into the barrel, like this thing here. Aim at the top of the electric thing there. And jump script. And it will be a monster smoke for the CT guys. And then you can also, like after that molla, just run down higher. And just go into the fence thing here and just pop flash. Then you aim at the kind of arrow in the middle of the arrow. So if the T guy is pushed, it will be a smoke here. And the monster guy, usually to prevent the monster rush, he will just molotov here. Not that deep, that was a fail molotov. But only a bit. What the hell? There we go, there we go. You want to mull it that, like that. I'm not the B player usually, but I'm the utility king, so I never... I never fail these Molotovs. That's... and a flash come here. So it will be easy wipe if the monster guys are trying to push. So that's a nice way to prevent a B rush. And also, you, you want to look kinda like on A, like as soon as you feel like it's clear on B, you kinda want to help the A guys, but because it's really, really hard to to hold everything here. So usually the A guys will just play setups here. Usually like the most standard position, I guess, would be like one upper here and one rifle here. So you, the only thing that's open is along. And that's the rotation guy. You want to fill the gaps like left. It's the same with the biggest. 
If the B guy decides to play monster, maybe one guy anti flash somewhere, maybe here, or maybe here, and one peeking. You just want to fill that gap, like that gap that is open, because this is a really big map, one of the biggest for sure. And how to deal with the connector guys, like a city as well. You don't want to give this guy too much free space that he feels confident enough to search like instant here, because that will save them so much time so as ct this nade is super important and i i suggest that a b player does it or the rotation guy you can just walk in here just aim in the middle here like you see kind of b here like aim the top there and it will blow up the door a bit near to the right so it's safe but the t guy here he will become like for sure he will like get paranoid, like he he can't really work on the pass like good. Because you can either like you can do a tower here maybe. Uh, yeah you can do a tower here, just walk like see on the pass if he walks forward. You can boost here, see if he's gonna spot. And you can be out on short. If you're like if the B guy doesn't have control short this guy has to worry about like super much here like boost there boost there maybe he's hiding in this corner at the same time he can be sandwiched from this corner this corner this corner so that's a re really nice way to like kind of put the pace down for them but not to, like let them run over you and it's the same with, like, it's super good to use the combination from me with the Molotovs. Stairs like Playground and... Playground and Stairs, yeah. So it's a really good combination for buying time on A. Because as T, you can't really... That's the weird thing. As CT, you can't really hold anything, like, everything. And as T, you, you are worried that they can be everywhere. everywhere. So the fourth tip is... If you if you guys play two setup like either toilets or maybe too long the op is playing from sign here and you have the rifler here. What happens if they take control from the other side? Like if you play two guys long, they come up on another side. Or or the opposite, that you guys are two toilets, they're pushing up long. I would recommend as the if you're toilets that you wanna take control of this area somehow with uh, the rifle and the AWP. You don't really want to take jewels instant on this guy. You want to secure like toilets area so it's not a, like a lurk hiding here or maybe here ready to pounce on you. When you guys are, like when these guys are up on site. So as soon as you clear this area, you can just wide swing here because they won't be able to kill you. You're probably gonna have the rotation guy either stay truck or just hold there but you want you want one of the guys at least to just secure the toilet area cover this guy's back so the next thing i'm gonna teach you guys is how to retake b usually what happens when they're on b site and kill the two b players you will usually play on site so you will, you will have a really fast rotation to be. So I'm gonna teach you two, two HEs. One from upper. And one from lower. So the first one is... You go into this key tool. Uh, this is different based on like view model and like resolution I think. But I play 4-3, four, 1280, four, 960. And black bars on that and classic view models but I go into this key tool I'm aiming my top of the HC barrel like this and they, usually it will be a smoke higher so you can easily do this way go into this thing you see that thing and boom will be a perfect nade at the default plant which like almost everyone is planting and if you come from lower, you kind of go into this thing, this round thing, I don't know what that's called. 
and you aim just in the middle of this. Nope. I'm the utility king. No, <laughs> you're not. That was just to test you guys. You can do it a bit more to the right, but it's also like important just to listen. Where is plan? Yeah, we don't. That's a uh, 50. At least 48. Let's go into this thing. Bounce like that. Perfect, perfect nade. Also what you can do otherwise, it depends on many lives. You can also like smoke short, you can smoke sight. But I would recommend to like, depends how many is alive or you know positions. It's all about the info, really. But if you know no one is here, maybe you can save the smoke for short. Like it depends on scenario. But either you smoke sight in my opinion, or you smoke short from here. I just wide together. And the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to be annoying at A as the rifle player. So we're gonna switch to rifle player. But this guy has so much opportunities to just be a pain in the ass for T's. Just demolish every like execute they have, like just cripple them like 5 on 4 instant. Like you can just, if you do the double molos for example, as I taught you guys. You can just run up here, they won't be able to stop you. You can go in here, playground. And you will be around like here with the molo fading. So you have a really good position. And even if you don't run into playground. You can just be annoying, like, either you camp, like, we call this TSM position, in AP, or you can, like, stay here, and, like, at one minute, just wait, like, 50 seconds, you can just push. If you get all this info, you can almost say, like, it's, yeah, it's B, almost, you can almost call it, you need it. Otherwise, they're, like, f depends on scenario, of course, if they're 5 alive and you push long, 50 seconds, probably they won't be on A. They're probably doing some like B execute or anything. And it's the same, you can push toilets, you can push everywhere, but I would recommend to like clear this area. And if you feel uncertain that it, like it might be long player, like people at long, you can just ask for like a flash out of a teammate. There's one pop flash here, just a wide swing. Kill them. If you don't see anyone after you flash, <coughs> I'd recommend you to fall back because they're gonna hear it. So they might just watch you from like, I don't know, underpass, toilet, to be ready for you. So maybe just rotate it all the way. Either you can camp there, depends on the time, of course. But that will give you massive info. It's the same you can just have so much information as they go. You can be like everywhere, like push, like they can't really hold it. And usually in like pro games, they're not leaving a lurk on A when they're doing some B execute. It's very, very uncommon. This has been NIP Twist doing pro tips on seat overpass. I really enjoy doing this. Pr probably will do some more in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah, see you soon.